Good morning or afternoon. Good afternoon, boys. I just got something super cool that I've been waiting for quite some time. I got a shout out Australia on this one with Sammy here. Maybe I should get Sam to help me open this. Be right back. I got something from Down Under. Hold on. Do you, do you recognize the name? Where is it? Vega. Yeah. You recognize it? I recognize it. What, what does he specialize in? Parts for SD things, no? Yeah, OEM parts for, I guess, even Evos. He's like a dealership plug. I guess, but he's the only person I found that had these in stock, and I've been waiting quite some time. Careful that oh, knife will fuck these you are. Off. I know what these are now. Hold on, I'll get it. Yeah, it'll. No, 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 no. No, mate. You're doing I'm it wrong. I know what a real knife is. Yeah, you're gonna cut your fingers off. You're, that's, oh, it's a flick knife. All right, bogan. I'm scared. You are boganing this. I don't know. Okay. I know exactly what these are. What do we how got? Money they are. The, dude, I got. I'm gonna tell you because you made a video about how much they were costing. And I'm gonna tell you what I paid for them. So we have ourselves a brand new set of S15 HIDs. Yeah, auto adjustable. Auto adjust. Wait, auto like do that? That was with the button. Yeah, 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 the button. So I've it, got the button. The adjustable ones. Auto yeah. leveling HID. So these are for the S15. I have brand new halogens, which I. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's oh, you're see. gonna take are them. Are they real? Are they real? Hell yeah, they're real. See that Nissan Kohito. So yeah, they're real. They're real. Sometimes people sell brand new ones and you look there and it says Wise Square the and you get ripped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh. The brackets are nice too. I had. The brackets. I had Sam it come open this because it's from Australia. I paid 1800 US for, for both. both. That's insane. In Japan, well, the Australian. dollars right now. The Australian dollar is trash. It was like 3000 Australian. So, this is something I found really, really weird. In Japan, if I buy these, they want $6,000 for a pair or two. But if I buy them through a Nissan dealer in the USA and get a friend to relay post them to me, it's $3,000. Makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's weird, right? It's like this the only time China. Japan has ever fucked their own people because everywhere else they're fucking us. Yeah. So uh, I have a set of halogens that are brand new that I have no use for now, but I bought them because these were supposedly discontinued at one point and then they got a new... I think it was the ballast they couldn't get or something. Yeah. So these come with brand new ballast and everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the key. That's annoying. Yeah. But so yeah. that's the key. So what I was going to do was take my new halogens, because to my understanding, the housing is 0% different. It, even my halogens have a place to mount the ballast. Mm -hmm. I was going to take my HIDs off my car, mount the ballast and everything, and resell the new halogens as HIDs, just not auto-leveling yeah. for good money. Yeah. Because what the fuck. But anyway... That came, and I felt like I had to have uh, an Australian open it. That is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm jealous, though. That's so cheap. Yeah, like, it's I can't even get a second hand. And he only right had now. two sets. He sold them both. Oh, oh well. So, uh, that's cool. Got my, my HIDs, and uh, I don't really know what we're doing. I think I might let the monkey out of the bottle and show you guys some of the parts I got for the new car. Because it's just sitting here taking up space, and once I put it away, who knows how long it'll be before it comes back out. So, let's do that. Okay, first we're going to start with the many Greddy boxes. We've got three, and they're going to give it away. But the first one, whoa, that's a confusing sign. Yeah, that is confusing. <laughs> Bet you guys think I'm getting a GTR. First box, just a pipe. Real boys will know that pipe immediately. Second box. Oh, uh, the one that gives it away. Yeah, the, the, well, yeah, no, the next one really does. Huh. <laughs> okay, this one really does. <laughs> So, just an oil pan, Greddy. The next one, if it didn't say that on that one, this would be the one that gave it away. Greddy intake manifold. Real nice, real nice piece. Note the... Yeah, note the length. Uh, we've got an exhaust. We've got, oh shit, we got a radiator for the car. And then we have OEM Nissan boxes. What the fuck is in this one? Oh, I know what's in this one. So, in this one, I'll open it, but I won't show you too much. Well, you can see a little bit of a bumper there, and then there's just a bunch of, maybe empty boxes? I thought these would be full. So, a bunch of boxes there, close out. And then this box, uh, a bunch of boxes. Lamp assy. Yeah, lamp assy on this boy. So that's your hint. And if you didn't know, 
I'll edit out the oil pan, but if you don't know at that point, you won't know until I show you the thing uh, in your face because these parts are very specific. So that's my unboxing for the day. Good morning, Saturday. It's kind of early. We got work going on in the shop on the weekend. So, as you know, LZ's open house is next week. I'm the announcer, and I've got the FD back. So what we're gonna do, prep the FD, how's it going? Going great, look at that. Yeah? Oh, yeah? They're gonna clean up nice? Yeah. So we got the FD skirts here. The FD doesn't have skirts, and it kinda looks like a monster truck. You can change the oil in the fucking thing without jacking it up. And it's not because it's not low, because these 90s Japanese cars just had a hell of clearance. The, side, the sides weren't brought down enough. Like, for example, this car, you could get with skirts or without. It's an R33 GTST. This is without skirts on stock height. Give you an idea, it's probably about 10, 10 to 12 inches of space under there. Stock height. Lee. This is Lee's TH1. This car is done. Needs a base map and it's done. He did some do a Dola kit. Uh, some people say Duluc, Doluc. He's got the LMG T2s with the Dola kit. And the skirts are hella lower than stock. Uh, his car is moderately low. And still, I'd say there's 5 inches under there. So, not really much you could do with the 90s Japanese cars. The, the skirts don't sit low, it's whatever. But, uh, the FD without skirts also curves and it makes it sit super high. So we're gonna install the skirts before the open house. I've had these for like three years. They're made of this shitty rubber material and uh, he's gonna paint them. We'll see what we get with them and hopefully we'll be able to install them late Monday Throw the thing on the trailer and bounce LZ's open house. That's the goal. Look at this massive stack of parts for the new car. Kind of crazy. It's on a it's on a, a fork truck. Uh oh, and we got one more thing. Yesterday we got a delivery. As you know, we're getting into the dry ice blasting space, the the dry space we'll call it. What we have here is our air dryer. So. The system needs a crazy compressor, and if you watch the videos often enough, you'll see when we went down to Scott Ailes, and he showed us his compressor setup. I'm a biter. Bought the whole same exact setup. Reason being, we need so much air to run the larger uh, dry splasher, the one that really does work, and uh, I'll show you why. This is the small guy and it uses a normal air hose. This is the air hose for the big guy. I believe it's one inch air hose. And here is the big dry splasher. Dirty in the corner, we gotta clean it up. We haven't touched it. It's brand new, it's been used like a couple times by Scott. But we got the air dryer, which dries the air and causes less of that smokiness you see, the fog, whatever you wanna call, from the dries, because that's it. usually it reacting with condensation. The refrigerant air dryers don't work fast enough. This is a desiccant air dryer. It's like silica gel packets, kind of like that, are in this, I believe. I'll let Scott comment down below, and if he does, I'll pin it. Um, it dries a lot more volume and can do it a lot quicker. So this just got delivered, but we're still waiting on our massive compressor. And when that goes down, we'll be taking this, the compressor, and the two holding tanks and putting them in what we call our compressor room, which I don't know if we've showed. This is the sandblasting compressor room. It's gonna take up a lot more space, but it's nice because it keeps it quiet and it keeps it in here. So, get excited for that. I'm really stoked to be able to super blast the underbodies of some cars. Anyway, I'm gonna film his progress all day, see where he gets those skirts. I was gonna have him do the hatch. I've got a wingless hatch. OGs oh, remember, I drove to Chicago because I didn't want to ship it. And uh, I have that. 
it'd make the most sense to paint them at the same time, but the hatch is a bit more work, and swapping it sucks a lot too, so maybe I'll just roll down with the stock hatch and just do the skirts. Okay boys, so unfortunately I didn't film Peter doing the damn thing, but the damn thing got done. So, walking into the paint booth, we've got them hanging, which I was very nervous about. I disconnected this one. It's perfect. It's perfect. So these have to be installed on the FD before the open house. I've been dying to see OEM skirts on an FD, quite literally, since I discovered OEM skirts existed. So a little background on that. I've owned FDs since 2005, okay? My first FD was a 93 Shell. Probably sometime around 2007, I discovered that there was 99 spec side skirts. They were hard to get in 07, which is weird to think because FDs only stopped production in 02. When I discovered that you can get them, fell in love with them, I've owned this set for forever. I don't even know how long, I've owned two sets. I pieced together two sets to make one good set, which is what I have, and they're made out of the worst material ever, and I should have probably explained all that in this video, and I'll just show you. Okay, so here are the other set that I own. Watch this. You're like, oh, it's holy <coughs> shit. Caught it. You're like, oh, not a big deal. It's just a piece of plastic, right? These are made out of the same shit foam material as the S13 wing. And the problem with that is they crack, they split, they swell and bend. They're just not good. They're really hard to prep. They're really hard to install. My plan is going to be to bring my car into the booth, heat the booth up a good amount, get my car warm, get the skirts warm, uh, put the infrared lamps on the places where the skirts are going, which is the bottom of the car, get that all warm. I bought 3M adhes adhesion promoter which you wipe on, it's pretty much a glue. Then we're gonna put the double-sided tape down. Then we're gonna let that chill. Then we're gonna install it in the car. So pray for me with that because I just want this shit to stay on. Then I've gotta figure out how to attach them on the bottom side, which there's three, three or four uh, holes, which I'll probably drill holes and riv nut into the FD, which is crazy, but fuck it. Anyway, I don't know where this video's at. Uh, I've just been prepping and doing orders. If you have placed an order, check this out. This is just uh, from today so far. So um, we are still shipping orders every day, every minute. Um, I know we are short some merch. If you place an order towards the end of the giveaway when it went pre-order, like with the key tags and shit like that, you just have to wait a little bit longer, especially with Christmas. But our goal is to have almost everything out this week um, and everyone happy. So if you place an order, don't fret, your stuff's coming. We're trying to get it out as quick as we can. It's just, uh, it's kind of hard to do, you know? I got a one girl operation. Probably gonna end the video there because I got a shit ton more orders to do and a lot of other shit to do to get ready for LZ's open house. So, sorry for the short video. It was just like, what was going on, what I had to do. Um, stay tuned tomorrow. We're putting the skirts on the FD and then we're shoving off, leaving for LZ's open house. I am the announcer. If you haven't joined his YouTube members saying, stop sleeping. I'm gonna announce a drift competition. It's kinda silly. Later.